Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Heather or the Sassy Cinderella and today we are going to be trying out, testing out and reviewing some new flare activewear leggings from Halara. Flare is back. Have you guys noticed the flare pants and leggings returning everywhere lately? I have been quite frankly very skeptical but excited to try them because this definitely takes me back to another time in my life where I was all about the flare. If you are new to my channel I do a lot of product reviews, lifestyle and fashion content on this channel so definitely consider joining the sassy family, hitting that subscribe button and turning the notification bells on so that you are notified when I upload new content. Huge shout out to Halara for sending me this package of goodies to try and give you guys my honest thoughts on. I have been working with Halara for a very long time because this is a brand I am fully behind. I love their stuff and they have kindly given me the discount code of Heather20 so that you guys can save 20% off of any full price items on the website. Some of these items are already on a sale at the time that I am filming this, but anything new and fresh and awesome, definitely use that code for. So as you can see, they have sent me a variety of styles and colors in these new flare legging releases. They all have some different aspect to the legging, so let's dive right in. Now these are all out of the packaging already, but I do have a bag here to show you. They come in a beautiful frosted Halara bag with this forest green colored nice thick tag. It feels very expensive. Love that. And if you're new to Halara, they are a very inclusive brand. They have plus size items. They have every shade range you can possibly think of. There are some kids active wear pieces on the website. So definitely check out the full range of pieces they have. They also have everyday pieces too. I'm a huge Halara fan and I order stuff myself from time to time as well. All right, so kicking off this video. That was a fail. We're just gonna dive right in through these pieces. I will leave information about each item up on this side as well as some footage I have already filmed out just kind of showing off the different pieces so you can really get an idea of what it looks like on. Every piece I'm going to be showing in this video is going to be in a size medium. I am typically kind of a size four-ish so if that gives you any indication. All right so the first pair of leggings I'm going to show in this video are the crossover high-waisted back pocket super flare leggings in the color pink icing and again size medium. One thing you will find about Halara's pieces is they are buttery soft. I love the fabric choices they use and what girl doesn't love pink so I was really excited to actually get some pink leggings because this is something that I don't have. I don't have a pink activewear legging. We do have a crossover waist on this style right here along with that hidden back pocket with some power mesh on the inside. As described in the name of these leggings there is a little bit of sort of a booty contour along the back. It does have a front seam running down the front and a small crotch gusset as well. I will say when there is a seam down the front, you do have a little bit more risk of the whole camel toe thing. So if you're in between sizes, just size up if you are not sure. And that typically will take care of that problem. I didn't have any issues um, with any of these. These are a no side pocket legging. They're just smooth all the way down. And then we get bam, the super flare right here. Um, I really wasn't sure how I was going to feel about that, like I said, because it's been so long since I've worn a flare to anything, but I really liked it. I actually think all of them are really cute, so I guess the flare is back on trend and I can get down with it. I always wash everything first too. Everything washed beautifully. Everything always holds up beautifully too. They always have really good quality stitching, the right stitches, and I thought everything fit great too throughout uh, the pieces you're gonna see in this video. I didn't have any issues where I thought things were sized, you know, weirdly or anything like that. So sizing was perfect. Again, a size medium. So yes, loved these fun little pink flared leggings. All right, so the next pair of flare leggings in this lineup are the crossover pocket split hem full length flare leggings in the style smile in the color white. So again, size medium. You will notice on these similar fabric, a little bit slicker, a little less of the buttery soft than the pink, but just by a hair. So a little bit more slick in feeling to me. And you do have that crossover waist again at the top. And these have front pockets as well, which is really, really fun. I am not normally a white legging girl, but I've really been wanting some. So I just kind of threw these into the mix to try out. Again, you have the little booty contour along the back. Same thing with the front. We have a front seam coming down into a small crotch gusset on the bottom. These are a really nice deep pocket that has a trim around. And if you work your way down the leg, 
there is that split hem that was mentioned so you get a little pop here it makes it really really comfy and cozy and kind of nice when you have tennis shoes on it makes it a little easier to move in these and then we get that nice flare again at the bottom now aesthetically i really really do like these a lot however i will say if you are fuller in the booty region um like i am then TMI. They are a bit sheer in the back. So this would not pass a squat proof test for me. However, if you're just out and about and you're not going to be doing anything where you're going to be bending over or anything like that, they would be fine for an everyday throw on a jacket, just look cute. I don't think you're going to have any issues with it being see-through, but definitely watch bending in this lighter color here. I This is the first time I've really bought white leggings, so I don't have anything to compare them to in terms of sheerness level. But that is my one little thing about these. This for me would be more of an out and about legging, not a squat day legging. Hey guys, so it is me from the future. I, after getting the video done, realized that there was something I wanted to make sure I included for you in this video. And that is that Halara offers different sizing for petite and for regular sizing. Now, some of you may or may not know what kind of measurement is implied with that, but it's mainly gonna do with your inseam. So your inseam is going to be the interior part of your thigh all the way to the floor. And the petite sizing is going to measure 31 inches and the regular sizing is going to measure 33 inches. Now for me, I am not a super tall girl. I'm kind of average. So depending on the brand, I can kind of go either way between petite and regular. So this video, since I've always had regular, I decided to order a lot in petite. All the leggings are petite except for this blue padded off pet hair pair that you're going to see. And I have found that the regular still is best for me, but having your inseam measurement is a really valuable tool, especially when you're ordering online, because usually they're going to provide that measurement for you. If you have an issue where you feel like it's kind of too tight in that region, or maybe you're having a little camel toe action, maybe try a longer inseam. And if you feel like it's possibly a little gapy or too long even, then you might want to try the petite sizing. But I wanted to make sure I popped on and told you about this because this is a way to make sure that you get an absolutely perfect fit. You don't have any fit issues when your leggings arrive and then they feel tailored to you specifically because that fit is going to be perfect. So back to the video. All right, so for the third pair of leggings in this haul, we are gonna hop over to the Padded Off Pet Hair Collection. If you are new to that collection in Halara, they have a whole line of products that is dedicated to being pet hair resistant, lint resistant, thread resistant. So if you have animals, this is a great line for you to check out. I will leave a link overhead and down below to past Padded Off Pet Hair reviews that I have done. It definitely works. They have just the right blend of fabric that they have discovered so that you don't have to do the guessing. You know right away that fabric is gonna pat off the pet hair very easily. And so they have added some flair to that collection. And what I love about this too is that they have started adding ribbed knit texture into the padded off line too, and in general. And I really, really enjoy the ribbed knit texture. I think it looks really, really cool. Any kind of texture like that too, if you have any kind of areas that you are maybe a little more conscious of, it it does a better job of hiding like our cellulite and things like that. So texture is always nice for uh, that reason. So these are the padded off flow pet hair resistant crossover pocket split hem yoga flare legging in the style smile. All of this will be down in the description box below with direct links so you guys can find these items if you'd like to go shop. These are in the color Seaborn and again you'll see that ribbed knit, the crossover waist. I really do enjoy a crossover waist too. I have quite a few like that that I really really like. We again get that deep set pocket like we had on the white legging with the nice sort of stitching to really accent it. These are really cute. These are probably one of my favorites in the haul. Very similar front and back seam situation. We've got the seam line down the front, small crotch gusset, and then the booty contour in the back. We get a nice big flare on these with the side slit again. And these just hug the body in all the right places. So I'm a really, really big fan of this pair on top of the fact that they are pet hair resistant. So these are an A plus for me. Now I would recommend, and I say this, I feel like every video, when I work with activewear, I will wash on delicate cycle and I try to hang dry as much as I can because it just extends the life of your activewear. Activewear is one of those things that really is best to be um, hang dried. Am I saying that properly? Um, it is best to dry by hanging method if you can. Um, their stuff holds up great in the washer and dryer, but I'm telling you, activewear in general, 
hang dry if you can. All right, so sticking with the Padded Off Pet Hair Collection, we are going to move along into the next pair of leggings here, which are the Padded Off Flow Pet Hair Resistant Crossover High Waisted Back Pocket Super Flare Leggings in the color black. Again, we get the great ribbed knit texture that I really, really like. The crossover waist, same booty contour, same stitch line situation. What's different about these is they're very wide and you don't get the split hem. So if you like the solid versus the split hem, these are gonna be solid all the way around. And we do get that peekaboo back pocket like we had on the pink pair. So if you wanna stick a cell phone or something down in there, you have that option. Same as with the navy, the Seaborn uh, colored pair. I just love this ribbed knit aesthetic. I really like the styling of it. I like that if they've got just enough detail with the crossover waist and things like that, and I have pets, so I'm really a big fan of these two padded off pieces. I love everything in this haul. Leggings are probably my favorite active wear piece in my wardrobe. It's what I tend to keep the most of around, but these are great. And all of them are honestly really versatile to going out during the day too, if you just want a cute, comfy look. All right, and that brings me to the very last pair of leggings in this haul. These are not part of the Padded Off collection, so we are back to just regular active wear leggings. These are going to be the high-waisted back pocket plain slight flare leggings in the color Aegean Blue, again, all size medium. Now, this is really a basic style legging and I've got to tell you, I think they're my favorite in this haul, even though I really like everything. I don't know if it's the color or just the way it hits everything, but I am such a fan of these. This color is just stunning. This Aegean blue color, you get that back pocket again, which is just always a nice little bonus to have. And you've got kind of a, I would say mid range waistband section here. It's not the widest I've ever seen and it's also not the smallest. It is a little bit um, denser of a fabric than some. So it's gonna do a little bit better of a job for compression if you care about that. And the one thing I will say is this does, I believe have a slightly longer stitch in the front. So if you're worried at all about any kind of camel toe action and you're in between sizes, I would just size up. So if you're small, medium, get a medium you won't have a problem. So love these, straight line down the back. It just hugs really, really beautifully. And then you just get a slight flare. It's very subtle, more like a boot cut almost at the bottom. And I just, I love these. I love the color, I love the feel, I love the fit. These are a winner. All right, so that brings me to the end of this haul, try on and review. The verdict is two thumbs up from me. I definitely loved every single one of these pieces. I really especially like the fit on my body type for the last three, but I will definitely wear the first two as well. I do really enjoy having the light, bright, sort of preppy kind of colors like the pinks and the whites too, but I think the cut of the last three just do more for my personal figure and body type. So. I'm a really, really extra big fan of the last three, even though I like them all. Definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you have a favorite pair here. What do you think about Flair coming back in? Are you guys a fan? Are you unsure? Are you not a fan? I would love to hear what you think about Flair coming back into style. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps the channel out. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, leave me a comment and we will chat down below about everything in this video. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I will see you soon. Bye.